Hey y'all, this is Octavius Gray coming to you on this wonderful Monday. I'm, I'm hoping y'all having a good day and everything in between, you know. All right, y'all. The View host Sonny Halston slams bound for a fist bump in Saudi Prince. The View co-host Sonny Halston criticized Joe Biden for fist bump in Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salam during a recent visit to Saudi Arabia. The U.S. president visit, visited Saudi Arabia to beg for oil and to, approve, and to improve relations between the two countries. You're going to beg for oil. Biden fist bumped Mohammed after he landed in Saudi Arabia. Mohammed allegedly ordered the 2018 assassination of Washington Post journal, journalist Jamal. I'm not going to say his last name. This is a murderer. You don't normalize a murderer about this fist bump, Sonny Hostin said during Monday's episode. It was a photo op that he wanted, and we normalize these relationships. Hostin said the fist bump was an unforced error on Biden's part. She continued, I think, it's, I think this is bad no matter how you look at it, and we shouldn't be here saying, well, Trump did it, so it's okay that Biden did it. It's just not okay in my view. I understand he was there because of the oil prices. I understand we should be taxing American oil companies that are gouging Americans. They're really what we should be doing. On a positive note, gas prices dropped to four dollars a gallon in the United States after hitting a record five dollars and two cents a gallon on June 14th. All right, I'm gonna do this little clip. Hold on. Okay. This weekend, the President Biden took a trip to Saudi Arabia, in part to negotiate for cheaper oil, but the very moment, first moment he met with Saudi uh, Crown Prince is making all the headlines because they greeted each other with a fist bump, which many felt was inappropriate since the prince is accused of approving the murder of Washington Post journalist Jamal Khashoggi, among other human rights violations. And I, I, it's so amazing to me because we, you know, we do this often. We say we're not going to talk to these people, we're not going to do it, and then suddenly you're having to figure out how you converse with them because you've got to deal with them. But I just wanted to read something someone handed me, which was, unfortunately, sometimes you have to make decisions. That was me. I did just say that. Uh, he didn't have to go to Saudi Arabia, however, to find a country that's violating human rights or a country that's opposing women because plenty of states that we live in are doing the same thing, remove protected rights from women, mm. disallowing them control over their bodies. Mm. So I just want to say, you know, I think part of the, the big problem that we have is our own hands are dirty quite often. Well, and let's not forget that uh, Trump uh, was... All right, y'all. Y'all heard that little piece of clip. I'm not going to play the whole thing just in case they hit me with a copyright, even though it's also on YouTube and I'm putting it also on YouTube and I'm using the reference of the view for this video. So I'm just covering my tail a little bit. But overall, what Whoopi says, she's right. Ain't nobody hands clean. So here you go going over there to beg for oil like some sucker being a weak president yet again. And then as soon as y'all came in contact, y'all fist bump murderer to murderer. And that how it goes. So y'all see everything is just a game for real, for real. They talk all this BS about freedom, democracy, and trying to help the world be better. Because look, well, look at how the world is going, y'all. Look how everything is moving. You know, it's so much suffering going on out here. But yet, we still have these commercials talking about how fabulous life is. Talking about buying things. But inflation is up. So why we still got these crazy, crazy ass commercials talking about how great life is. When for real, for real, a lot of people are going through things. We got all these shootings that's going on. But yet... The guy that y'all voted in ain't doing nothing but walking around being some senile old man who make a bad move at least two, three times out the damn week. And, and ain't nobody doing anything about it or saying anything about it. Don't y'all see that our lives are in disarray? And y'all keep on wanting to complain about Trump. All of them is terrible. Let's be real. Every prison we done had has been terrible. Has been terrible. We're supposed to be the freest country in the world, but we got the highest prison population. Many, um, many people's rights are violated. Y'all won't give reparations out to the real original people of this country. But y'all want to keep on Jerry Marin, Marin, uh, keep on wanting to pander to all the other races and pander to people uh, to certain bases. They is not making the country no better. But like I said, they want this country being chaos and staying being in chaos. 
And then they expect people to act normal. Man, get out of here. Like, the worst mistake this country has done was vote this man in. Uh, the worst mistake this country has done is still him be distracting and being scared and letting these people shoot you up with all, all these chemicals. But, whatever. Whatever. Y'all people don't care for real. I guess y'all about to line up for that shot for the monkeypox. Even though I think you can survive it without having to take a shot. But, whatever. Y'all love taking shots in this country. You even let your children get shot up when they first born. So, it's stupid all around. But, hey, y'all, this is the president y'all voted for. So, let's deal with the consequences. And, no, I'm dealing with the consequences. How about we do something else? Do something else. Because, eh, I'm 35. I didn't ask for this type of living situation on this world. So, you know, we got to figure out some way to make, our, uh, make the world a better place. And that's all I got to say. This has been Octavius Great. I hope you have a wonderful day. Hey, I, I, do you still feel good about voting for this man? For those who voted for him? Where's Kamala Harris? Now, if this, if, if this man was to croak over, you know she'll be the um, leader of the free world. And you see that she ain't leading much. Just a little food for thought. All right, I'm done. So long. Bye.